Hey everybody, Sam here again and it's now time to see part two of three of What's On My Android. Enjoy. Um, next one, Geeky Avatar, free version. Basically, if you've got, you know, you want pictures in your new phone but you don't want to, you know, have everyone's picture in there, but you want to, you know, some kind of picture if they call you texture, create a little Geeky Avatar and I think it's cool. There's another one, Androidify as well, to make a little Android person. I like the little Geeky one at the moment. Get Glue, I'm on this quite a lot. Basically on there, it's very similar to Foursquare in some ways, uh, but instead of actually checking into places, you check in to say, right, I am watching this movie, I'm watching that movie. Cool application, definitely I'm picking it up, and it's got Foursquare, Facebook, and Twitter integration into it. So if you check into that, you can check into Foursquare at the same time, tweet out to Twitter and post on Facebook. Obviously the stock Gmail application it is a godsend to everyone that uses Gmail and an Android device. It is probably the easiest integration of Gmail anywhere you'll ever see. Definitely recommend if you've got an Android device, use a Gmail application. Some people use the built-in email application. I've only installed it on mine. I recommend the Gmail application if you're running the G if you run Gmail for your main client. Google Plus, relatively straightforward. We all know what Google Plus is. Goo Manager, uh, this is another one again for rooted people and in here you can download the latest Google Apps and you can download the latest ROMs for your actual device um, again for a varied amount of devices not just for the Galaxy 3 and this one you can use it for the Galaxy S2, Galaxy Nexus, um, HTC One X etc all your devices that have got custom app, you know, custom ROMs get Goo Manager and you can download and update them on there Hello, it's an application I've just started using um, basically Hello, it's where you can kind of make like a um, you make like a little voice app, you know, a little voice memo, post out there 30 seconds or less, and you could just say, hi, and that's what I'm doing. It, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, a version of Twitter, but actually, instead of actually just tweeting out, you, you know, speak it out. Um, I think it's pretty cool. You can reply to people. You know, if you want to go follow me, I am Sam Jaypal on there, so, you know, go check me out. Hex to say, I've done a review on that one. If you want to see the review, click the actual um, logo there. Absolutely love this game, and it's been it's probably my favorite one of my favorite games on Android. And basically, yeah, and I'll go check out the review. But oh, seriously, I absolutely love this game. I'm addicted to it from time to time. IMDb in the movie database, we all know what that is. Relatively straightforward. We've got Instagram again. Most people know what Instagram is, you know, basically taking pictures. You know, put like a little filter onto there. Yeah, it's not the the best way to show you showcase your best you know quality pictures, but it's a quick way to aggregate cool pictures in a certain place. I recommend it to anybody. Internet, basically the stock internet browser, the one I use on a regular basis. Kick Messenger, um, I, use, I use Kick Messenger. Basically, you know, you've probably seen you know, people using WhatsApp, etc. It's another free cross, you know, cross messaging application. You can have it on Android, you can have it on um, the iPhone, Blackberry, and I think it's on Windows Phone as well. So it's, you know, cross platform. So if someone's got an iPhone, you know, they don't want to use iMessage, but they want to message you free of charge instead of using text messaging. I know most people get free text now, but if you say I'm texting in America, it's a free message. Lois TSB, that's my bank, you know, my banking application, <laughs> pretty much where it says it is. Logos quiz game, something I've been playing recently, and uh, you just got to kind of guess what logo is. So obviously on there, it'd be Nike, McDonald's, is it Hello Kitty and probably Twitter? Yeah, Twitter. Uh, Maps application, again, comes pretty much default on all Android devices. Let's go to the next page. We've got Messenger. Basically, Messenger is just the built-in application. It's built with Gmail. It's the Messenger application, relatively straightforward. Messenger, which is the Facebook Messenger. Um, I prefer using that the actual the application itself because you get proper push up, putting up push notifications saying this is here, this is there, this is everywhere, blah blah. blah. Definitely recommend them if you if you use Facebook chat at all. Definitely recommend picking the Messenger. Um, mobile Odin Lights. Uh, this is from the developer, I think Chain Chainfire. Absolutely love this application, um, and again, it's for only for Samsung devices. This one mainly, um, and it's only for root devices again. Uh, if you'd like more detailed information of what it's all about, again, leave me a comment down below, and I'll, I'll make a video, separate videos for each of these ones. Guys, yeah, I'm about ten minutes in or something now, and I'm not even halfway through. Music player, the stock music player. I actually really like it. Uh, definitely recommend using that. There are other alternatives on the market, but I don't see any point using anything else. It's a nice, clean, crisp, and very cool application. Google Navigation, pretty much straightforward, most people know this as well. It's a free navigation application from Google. You can now download the maps, so you don't have to actually use your data. You can download about up to 80 megabytes of the map, which is a pretty big distance. 
Netflix, yes, Netflix is in the UK. It's everywhere pretty much nearly now. And uh, obviously, Netflix is a, a streaming, you know, streaming uh, mo mo uh, movie service for TV shows, movies, etc. Omega Files. This is an application that comes with the ROM I'm running. I'm running using the, the Omega um, ROM at the moment, and Omega Files is basically you can download more little, you know, little hacks and you know little hints and tips, um, and you know customization just to make it a bit different. Pandora, some people are thinking, Sam, why have you got Pandora? You can't use it. Well, I use a VPN if you wouldn't want to use Pandora, so I can actually use that within the UK. And basically, that's why you can choose your favourite artists, um, and then what it does is you know, you can create your own little, little, little radio stations. Parcels, I use that on a regular basis for shipments that are coming into me. So, if somebody gives me a tracking code, I jump into Parcels, and it tells me when it's going to get delivered, whereabouts it is in the world, etc. Photo Grid, that's a cool little application for Instagram. Basically, in that one, what you can do is you can um, kind of take you know more than one picture and kind of condense it into four little pictures and two little pictures, whatever you want to do. Uh, definitely check out a photo grid. I'm going to make a separate video on that one because it's pretty hard to explain just on the video here. Photo bucket. Um, I don't I don't use it that often, but I've got a lot of pictures on there from previously that I've just not moved anywhere else. So photo bucket is where you can take a picture, upload it, and you've got free online storage for your photos. Cool enough, very cool application. And then you've got a Pixelomatic, and basically on that one, I think it's a cool application. You can kind of mess around with stuff. So you've got a picture, you want to add a filter, you know, add, you know, add some you know, cool little flares to it, etc. Definitely I'm picking it up and go pick that up in the actual um, obviously Android Marketplace. But as you can see next, the, it's the actual Google Play Store. We all know what the Google Play Store is. Most people are running this now. Download all your applications from there, free and paid applications. Let's be honest, we all know what that is. Plex. Definitely go pick, pick, go pick, pick up Plex if I get my words out. Basically, what Plex is, is you run a server on your computer. So let's say you've got a Windows PC or Mac PC, whatever it might be. And then what you can do is you can actually use this if it's on the same network. And then actually log in and then start streaming the videos wirelessly. Uh, I use this on a regular basis to my iPad and all sorts of here. So if I'm downstairs and I want to watch them on my Mac from upstairs, I log into this one here, my Mac's on upstairs wireless stream it. The quick panel settings, this is based again for my specific device which I'll show you really quickly. Obviously at the top of my device, you know most people don't get all these kind of toggles. So I've got obviously got shutdown, reboot, etc. Um, and basically we kick in the quick panel setting you can actually customize those, take them off, add them, move them around and actually you know put it to where you want it to be. Quick pick, I actually don't use a stock uh, gallery application and then any devices I use quick pick. And basically, it is an, a gallery replacement. So if you're viewing your pictures, etc., you can view pictures, view your, you know your videos in this one. Definitely recommend it. It's nice and lightweight. To me, I just like it. I like the way it works, and it's very fast. You can't go wrong. Quidco. A lot of people might not know what this is. Based on Quidco, you can actually earn cash back. So if you buy stuff on eBay, buy stuff on Play.com, a host of websites. You can earn cash back. A lot of people don't realise you can do this. And basically what you're doing is you're getting money back for spending money. Can't go wrong. Red Laser, which is now owned by the eBay Corporation. Basically with that one is it's a barcode scanner. So if you're out and about and you see something, let's say, in a store, and you know you get there and you're thinking, oh, I wonder how much that's going to be online. Use that as a barcode scanner, scan the barcode. It tells you roughly how much, what, what it's going to be by an Amazon, I mean eBay, a host of different places. Definitely recommend picking it up. ROM Manager, this is another root only application. A basic in ROM Manager, it's pretty much where it says it is. You can manage your ROMs, you can download ROMs, you can update your ROMs. Um, basically, you can flash clockwork mod. Again, not to get into too much detail because some people will have a clue what it's all about. If you want a separate video on it, then leave me a comment down below. Root Explorer, pretty much where it says it is. It's a root version of the Explorer application, which basically means that I can go further into the device and actually modify certain things without actually. I will have full root access. Um, I prefer to do it that way than over ADB. It's just my personal personal preference. If you root it on your device, I definitely recommend that one. There are other alternatives as well. Obviously, we've got S Memo and S Planner, pretty much standard what they are. We've got S Voice. Um, I did take it off, but I've actually put it back on the device because it seems to run a lot smoother now. We all know what S Voice is. If you want to see what S Voice is, I'll put like an annotation. You can go check out my demo. Obviously, S Memo and S Planner. It's memo application, so you can write it. You know, write a memo and memo planner, which is your calendar application. Straightforward. Say no to our 0870. Very, 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 very 
get it across to you. Um, I recommend this application to anybody, you know, very much. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying loads of errors. Uh, basically, if you if you need to call somebody, so let's say you need to call somebody that's an 0870 number, use this application to see if it's a free phone number. If it's not a free phone number, see if it's a local rate number. Now, within the UK, every 0870 number or 0845 has got a proper number behind it. This application helps you find that number. Highly recommend it. It can save you a lot of money if you can use your mobile to call people. Obviously, Google search, relatively straightforward. You're not just uh, using it to search. Skitch. Um, in Skitch, it's now owned by the Evernote com uh, Corporation. And what in Skitch you can do is you take a screenshot, you want to circle some, uh, you know, kind of highlight some. Uh, it's basically using, you know, kind of like highlighting certain things in, in images, circling some, uh, and then send it off somewhere. Again, I'll do a separate review on that if you want to see it. Sky Sports, relatively straightforward. Uh, just an application to keep me up to date with all my sports, from, you know, for my football, soccer for American people, my Formula One, boxing, etc. If you're in the UK, or even if you're not, Sky Sports application, definitely recommend picking it up. Sky Plus, awesome application. In there, what I can do is I can actually see my TV listings. We know see what's going to be on next, what's going to be next in the next week or two. And then I can actually set it to record on my box. So I can actually review, you know, have a look on there and go, oh, I want to I actually want to record that. Press record, and it record on my box when it's on. So if that's something that's going to be in two or three days, go into it, click record, job done, and record it for me at home. Obviously, next application we've got Skype. Let's be honest, we all know what Skype is. Relatively straightforward. SMS backup. Basically, on this one, what you do is you can actually, when you log into it, it backs up all your uh, messages to your Google account. So let's see, you've obviously got your your Gmail account. You basically back them all up to there. And then if you get a new device, you want to download all those all those old text messages. That you can download them all there. You can automatically back up as well. So if you want to automatically back up, let's say every day or two. So you never lose those text messages. You can do that. Songify, uh, it's a cool, fun application. Is this one? Um, basically, in there you can talk to it, sing to it, um, and what it does is it kind of, you know, kind of put like a synthesizer against your voice, um, and it just makes you sound cooler. Um, some, you know, some, I say cooler. It is weird, but I love it. Um, definitely recommend picking that. Go picking that up. SoundCloud. Um, I don't know why I got SoundCloud, but I listen to some people on there now and again. On there, you can basically, you know, you could sing a song to it. Not that I'm going to sing because I can't sing, but you can sing a song to it, and then somebody else can listen to it. And it's kind, of, it's kind of like Hello in a lot of ways, but it's more aimed at, you know, kind of uploading more than 30 seconds or more. 